Hello everyone, Neil from BookBull here, and in this video we're going to go over some exciting new updates that we just pushed to the BookBull Studio. So as you can see on my screen here, we're going to step through step by step of what we pushed and what has changed. You can see we've changed project, organization, image sorting, uploading guide, a text file in every download, we fixed some mazes, and we've changed some text elements. So let's step through here with what I think are kind of the most exciting, the most important I'm not going to bother you with any of the back-end updates. So the very first one that you may have already noticed if you've been using the studio is that we changed how projects are organized. This has been requested quite a lot. But if you come up here to Project and you click My Projects, things are going to look a little bit different. You can see all projects, and we now have a trash bin. So if you delete a project, it is going to be saved. So if I click on trash bin here, you will see it'll be deleted in X number of days. These are just a bunch of random test projects that I had. So make sure if you're going to delete a project that it is something that you want to delete. However, the the most important is in the all projects. You can now sort these by newest, oldest, alphabetical order, number of pages, etc. And as you see, this is the one that I am working on. I have some other test projects in here. But for people who are building an actual business, probably the most important option here is the ability to add tags so that you can quickly and easily find the project that you want to edit, work on, continue working on, etc. So the way to do that in the left hand menu see i have currently no tags on this project if i click on add tag it will let me put tags in here so maybe i'll just put in updates because that is the video i'm doing and it will add updates you'll see there's zero projects and i can then set a tag for the one we're working on i'm going to set that to projects let's add one more tag i'm going to call it test tag and it has zero projects. So if I want to see everything with updates as the tag, since I set that, I would just simply click on this and you will only see that single project. These can also be edited right here as well as moved around in the list so that you can organize everything properly. So that is probably one of the biggest updates that we have pushed. If you've been using the studio, you've probably already seen this as we pushed it very early this morning. Now the next thing that we change is the image sorting. So if you are going into your file library on the left hand menu here, those same sorting options will be up here. You can sort by newest, oldest, and alphabetical order. So I'll close that out. That's just a way to help you stay organized as well as this uploading guide. So if I'm going to go, I'm going to download this current project. A lot of people have been asking for a step-by-step -step guide on actually how to upload your books to Amazon KDP. So if you click on download current project, while it's downloading the project, you will now see a link. It says, while you wait, learn how to upload to Amazon KDP step-by-step. If you click on this, this will open up a, about a 20 minute video on exactly how to upload your project. So let me let this finish up and it's now creating the project archive because we have also changed the file. So let me go ahead and show you what this file looks like. All right, so if I bring this over here, you see there is a sources folder. There is the paperback cover and the paperback interior. This is exactly like it was before, but now there is a project settings for KDP. This is a text file that you can open up. So let's go ahead and open this up. I'll bring this over. This is going to tell you exactly what options you need to select on Amazon KDP in order for your book to be processed properly and go live. So for this particular example it is a paperback book on step two of three paperback content under print options here's what you need to select black and white interior with white paper it is a six by nine size and you must select bleed so we put this in the download file to kind of help you figure out what you need to select to make sure you're not running into any problems when you're uploading to amazon so let me get this out of the way and we'll keep going down the updates here the next thing that we have done, so we talked about the uploading guide. When you're downloading, it's going to be a YouTube video. Highly recommend you watch that if this is your very first time uploading. It's also a good refresher uh, if you've been uploading for a while, the text file. We also changed the studio mazes. So before you may have noticed a little bit of lag in the mazes. So let's just go over what that would look like. If you select a page, you're going to open up the interior templates library here. We're going to select a maze, select a page. And in here, this is exactly, you know, what it's going to look like. If I click on submit, now we have a maze and you notice there's no lag, nice and quick. You can move it around, resize it, and you shouldn't have any issues there. 
Now, the last thing we did, I'm not going to save this page, so we're going to move back, is we changed the text elements sizing. And the reason we did this is before you could not set a minimum text size down to you know pretty small text in order to put on the spine. Now, this project is a test project with a very, very small spine. But if you come in here and you add a heading, I'm just going to make this heading white. And if you come up here, you'll notice that there is a size. Now, this is very, very large right now. You can actually set this to a minimum of six. Now, I know this is going to be very, very, very small, but the reason we put this as six is you can then move this over. And I'm going to zoom in again. I don't know why this would be this small, but you can move them over to the spine. So now the minimum uh, pixel size here is six. You can put it on the spine of your cover again by rotating it. You can always change the size by dragging the outside edges or you can go in the top menu once that is selected and play around with the sizing here. So font size, very, very, very important. So this is going to be the updates again, project organization. If you go to project and then my projects, everything in here is going to be, you know, visible to you as well as the ability to set tags. So all projects, we now have a trash bin and you can add tags and apply them to all of the projects that you have been working on. We've added sorting options into the file library here in the top right hand corner as well as the ability to search. Uh, there's the uploading guide when you download a project. There's a text file in every download so you can match up exactly what you selected in your project to Amazon so it uploads properly each and every time. Fix some back-end stuff with the studio mazes and we made, as you can see, this element right here. Very, very small. We allowed text to get even smaller so that it can be used on the spine of a book. So that's going to be all of the updates for the video today. If you guys have any questions, please make sure to let me know down in the comments. Until next time, thanks so much.